sitting down to tell his side of the story on a current affair after being accused of being a twisted abuser guilty of sexual harassment and assault, Don Burke was returning to the Channel 9 stomping ground where he was once safe. But as he stumbled through denial after denial, he faced a relentless Tracy Grimshaw, who, in simply doing her job as a seasoned journalist, demolished a man accused of bullying and sexual harassment. In one moment, she stood up for every woman, every victim, who'd been left without a voice for so many years. Burke, who despite denying all allegations of wrongdoing, admitted that he'd done things he wasn't really proud of and that some of his staff it might have had a view perhaps, that I wasn't nice person. Grimshaw didn't hesitate to point out his blatant contradictions. It's interesting you saying that because you released a statement saying that you have no recollection of a lot of these allegations, she fired back. You say, that didn't happen, you are not that man. Are you now saying that you think maybe you did do them that maybe you are that man? Burke answered, no, I am not that man at all. There's a lot of people that don't like me and they can't all be e wrong, says Don Burke. Hash 9 ACA full story. HTTPS T.co slash pick twitter com slash 7L1 Kaika 3BF. A current affair, at Akarat Affair 9, November the 27th, 2017. The disgraced TV star went on to describe the robust environment he created at work. It may have made some reporters uncomfortable. Grimshaw didn't flinch. I have worked in prime time for 30 years and nobody has ever showed me a video of a donkey having sex with a woman, or attempted to pull off my bra, she replied. Burke, appearing flustered, denied any such video existed. But Grimshaw was not done. She had a personal anecdote to share. I was told a story years ago by a producer about you. You said that you were a geneticist and if you reproduced with this young family member, the baby would have the perfect gene pool. Grimshaw stated. Rendered speechless, Burke was left visibly reeling before making his flimsiest denial of all, that he had Asperger's, with which he'd diagnosed himself, and other failings, therefore implying that his genes could not be perfect. Tracy Spicer talks to me a freed man about the investigation that exposed Don Burke. Post continues, as his denials became increasingly bizarre, Grimshaw delivered a final blow. She made it clear that Burke was no longer discussing industry rumors that he could swat away with half-hearted apologies. He was on the world stage, with names and faces to those accusations that had long been whispered in television hallways. Women were standing up and telling their stories, one by one by one. We are not dealing with rumors, Grimshaw said. Rumors are when you say, did you hear what Don Burke said about such and such? It is not a rumor when a woman says Don Burke said and did this to me. We are dealing with people who have stood up and said this is what has happened. We have done stories similar to this and I know what it takes for people to stand up after 30 years. 